Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what's up? Have you ever been to a foreign country? I'm American. I don't leave this country. I have everything I want here. We're not like Europeans or something crazy like that. Okay. Have you ever traveled to a foreign country? Of course I have. I've been to England, France, Germany, Italy, New Zealand, Australia, Japan. Have you ever traveled to a foreign country? I mean, I've been to Brooklyn before. I mean, isn't that foreign? In Africa, I've been to Morocco, Egypt, South Africa. I've even been to Madagascar. Have you ever been to a foreign country? Well, actually, I am from a foreign country. Russia, China, and I'm actually going to go to Thailand soon. Have you ever traveled to a foreign country? If you have, you probably had to find a currency exchange counter in the airport. And you probably saw a screen with a lot of numbers and strange looking currency names that you may have never heard of. So let's say that this time you go to Japan, you know, that little island in Asia, and you hand in 100 bucks. And in return, you receive 10,000 yen. Then, you get all excited, you think to yourself, well, I'm rich, I can easily be a millionaire in Japan, and you may even post a photo of you with a 10,000 yen on your Facebook page. <laughs> Uh, when I go to those different countries, I have no idea what makes the currencies go up and down. Uh, when I went to France, as an example, I purchased euros and when I came back, I didn't get any of it back because of the fluctuation of the currency value. Honey, by doing that, you essentially participated in the forex market. Wait, what do you mean? So every time that you travel to a foreign country and you change your money, you become a forex trader. But the bottom line is that you can make money out of it from home without having to travel to another country. What does forex mean anyway? Alright, forex is the marriage between the term foreign and the term exchange. Wait, so it's kind of like a student exchange but between foreign countries? Not really. It means exchanging one foreign currency to another foreign currency. Ah, wait, the currency market? Yes. Well then, why do you have to make it sound like so not chic? Forex is chic, you just don't get it. So, back to the story of you in Japan. If you have any money left in your pocket, which I would doubt it after spending some time in Tokyo, Tokyo is expensive. You go back to the airport and you go back to the currency exchange counter and you notice that the rates have changed. Let's take an extreme example of a rate change of 100 to 80. So that means that for every 10,000 yen, now you will get $125 in return. That means you made $25 without doing anything special and just by giving the currency market some time. Dude, that's awesome. I love making money without doing anything. Alright, don't get too excited yet. These changes in the currency market sometimes allow you to make money and some other times, you know, you'll end up losing money. Wait, is this some kind of investment? Exactly! You finally got it. I'm so proud of you. You can win or lose money trading Forex just like any other kind of investment in trading. Wait, so why would I want to invest in Forex and not like other stuff? Well, you could still invest in other stuff, but trading Forex has a lot of advantages. First and foremost is that you can trade Forex 24 hours, 5 days a week, non-stop. And plus, you don't need a large investment capital. You can start trading with only 50 bucks. So if I can't fall asleep, I can trade? At night? Absolutely. And if I take a coffee break? At work, yes. Actually, you can trade on your phone or on your iPad. Wait, so that means I can text, I can trade while I'm texting? No. So then I can trade while I'm driving? No. So I can trade while I'm in the bathroom shampooing my beard? No, you can't do that. No. 
before jumping into trading, you need to learn. Most traders, a lot of forex traders get so excited and they end up losing money because they're not educated and they have no idea how they're managing their risk and sometimes even the brokers can be difficult. So you need to learn who you're dealing with. Wait, so I actually need to go to college for this or something? Well, you could, but here at investiva.com, we have created the easiest and most entertaining educational videos they can watch during your coffee breaks. Plus, we are neutral because we don't deal with the brokers. We are solely an educational platform and we don't take command from the brokers, unlike many other educational material on the web. So basically, if you want to learn how you can make money safely in the currency market without having to use a financial dictionary, go to investdiva.com. Which will also enable you and you to have iCandy popping on your screen.